Hi friends, welcome to Sankal Study Success Lectures. Uh, in this particular session, I am going to explain about again non-homogeneous recurrence relation. So see this question here: a of k minus three, a of k minus one, minus four a k minus two equal to four to the power of k. Okay. So how we can solve this particular non-homogeneous recurrence relation? Let us discuss in detail. So here the question is a k 3 a k minus 1 and k minus 2 and 4 to the power of k okay for k greater than or equal to 2 that is the condition here so how we can solve this particular question uh, maybe you may get this type of questions in the examination okay because uh, what is the problem in this question this equation this particular equation is not in the form of standard form okay it is not in the form of standard form it is not a standard form so what is the standard form for a non homogeneous or any homogeneous recurrence relation a n uh, plus a n minus 1 and something nth term should be in the form of suffix okay for a particular uh, nth term should be suffix but here a multiply with k so write down the given recurrence relation a of k minus 3 a Into k minus one minus four a k minus two equal to four to the power of k. Here in the place of n, what they give n k. So in the place of n, they gave k, and in the place of small a, they gave capital a. You see, in the examination, they have given any any capital letters. Like they will give some s or any other r. like this okay so just convert into our standard form okay this is not in so see here this is not in the standard form so we need to convert into the standard notation or standard form so what is the standard notation just put a in the place of k put n and in the place of capital a put small a okay in the place of a just keep it small a and in the place of k just to keep it n okay so that what we will and in the here k is multiply with a but we need to put n is a suffix to the a so from this from this we will get a suffix n minus 3 a n minus 1 minus 4 a n minus 2 See here, k minus one means n minus one. K minus two means n minus two, and equal to four to the power of n. Okay, so this is our equation. Let us say this is the first equation and this is the second equation. Okay, so this is now in the standard form. Okay, like this, you have to convert the. Uh, if they have not given the standard form, so you need to convert this uh, into standard notation, and then you will get the uh, recurrence relation. So now check whether it is a homogeneous or non-homogeneous. It is not equal to zero, so it is equal to some function value is there, some particular value is there. So it is a non-homogeneous recurrence relation of order two, okay? Because n minus two is there, no? Right. So here the f of n is nothing but a, what is the form? R to the power of n form. Okay. So we have different different notations for f of n. But here f of n is equal to R to the power of n form. Let us see. We need to solve the equation two. Okay, it is a second order non-homogeneous recurrence relation. So, what is the general solution? General solution for non-homogeneous recurrence relation that is a n equal to a n to the power of h plus a n to the power of p. That means we need to calculate. We need to um, find out the solution for homogeneous, and we need to find out the solution for particular, and we need to combine these. two answers then we will get uh, a solution for non homogeneous recurrence relation right so you know this one so let us see what is the first solve the a n to the power of h what is the a n to the power of h that is a n minus 3 a n minus 1 minus 4 a n minus 2 put 0 okay na equal to 0 okay so and next one A n to the power of p. A n to the power of p is equal to simply four to the power of n. Four to the power of n. Now solve this particular equation. How to solve? To obtain a n to the power of h, we need to put the zero so that 
an minus 3a n minus 1 minus 4a n minus 2 equal to 0 and it should be converted into our form that characteristic form r to the power of n minus 3 into r to the power of n minus 1 minus 4 into r to the power of n minus 2 equal to 0 ok so what is the smallest here r to the power of n minus 2 so divides with r to the power n minus 2 on both sides so that we will get r square minus 3 r minus 4 equal to 0 ok and find out the roots for this particular equation so we will get here r 3 4 1 the 3 4 minus 1 3 right so can we write minus 4 plus r so that r square minus 4 r plus r plus r minus 4 equal to 0 so that we will take r minus 4 and r plus 1 equal to r plus 1 equal to 0 so that r1 value is equal to 4 and r2 value is equal to what 1 ok r1 equal to 4 and r2 equal to 1 so here what we got here we got repeated real roots or distant real roots distant roots right here the these two are different For here the r1 is 4 and r2 is 1 so these are distinct real roots ok so what is the general solution for the distant real roots that is a n equal to a into r1 to the power of n plus b into r2 to the power of n ok hope you understand this one because we so far we discussed many problems on this ok so that a n to the power of h is equal to a into 4 to the power of n plus b into oh, what is that 1 to the power of n so here r2 value is minus 1 ok r2 equal to minus 1 so minus 1 to the power of n you see r minus 4 equal to 0 so r equal to 4 r plus 1 equal to 0 so r, r is equal to minus 1 ok so this is the solution for homogeneous now we need to find out the solution for particular equation right we need to calculate the a n to the power of p so what is that a n to the power of p is equal to what ma 4 here right that means f of n is equal to what here 4 to the power of n ok 4 to the power of n that means here the f of n is in the form of alpha into r to the power of n in the form of what alpha into r to the power of n why because why you assume that alpha into r to the power of n here if nothing is there so here alpha is equal to 1 ok alpha into r to the power of n here alpha is nothing but constant value so 1 into 4 to the power of n so alpha equal to 1 ok so in previous example I discussed already if the function value f of n equal to uh, in the form of r to the power of n ok we must check that that this particular r what is that r value here 4 right so that means what 4 to the power of n here r is equal to what 4 so this particular r is is existing in the characteristic equation or not that means we uh, do we get the this particular root value this particular root value in the characteristic equation or not uh, when you solve the uh, homogeneous recurrence relation ok so here r equal to 4 so here we got r1 equal to 4 yes the same root node is existing here so now what is the solution for if the root node is existing if the root node is not existing then the simply a into r to the power of n that is a solution ok if the root node is existing here then what is the solution a n to the power of p equal to simply a naught into n to the power of m into uh, r to the power of n here you can put a naught or simply a because already here we use a no so that is why uh, i used a naught ok so a naught into n to the power of n into r to the power of n ok so here what is the m means m is nothing but what number of times that r is uh, occurred in the characteristic equation roots ok so here how many times 4 is there only one time right a n to the power of p equal to a naught n to the power of 1 only because 4 occurs only one time we got the 4 only one root so n to the power of 4 and 4 to the power of n simple ma so this is the particular equation right now 
here we need to find out the a not value how in order to obtain the a not value a not so this particular equation substitute let us say uh, this equation what is that order of the equation let us see 3 and 4 let us say this is the fourth equation and this is the fifth equation so you see here in order to obtain the a not value okay in order to obtain the a not value substitute substitute of uh, equation 5 in where in the second equation because not the first equation because the second equation is in standard form so equation 5 is substituted in the equation 2 so what is that equation 2 right here a n minus 3 a n minus 1 minus 4 a n minus 2 okay equal to 4 to the power of n right so this is the equation 2 now we substitute this particular this entire value uh, each and every term so that we will get a naught value okay so simply here right here see see uh, we you should stop here this is a uh, homogeneous and the next part is this one and the next third part is this one okay so substitute a naught that uh, a n particular value okay so what is that a n to the power of p here a naught into n into 4 to the power of n right so substitute this this term in each and every way so here in the place of n n is there in the place of n n minus 1 is there in the place of n n minus 2 is there so simply the first term would be a naught into n into 4 to the power of n minus 3 into in the place of n n minus 1 is there so a naught n minus 1 and 4 to the power of n minus 1 because in the place of n what is there n minus 1 is there so second term is also completed now come to the third term 4 into in the place of n what is there n minus 2 is there so a naught into n minus 2 into 4 to the power of n minus 2 okay equal to 4 to the power of n okay so don't sub substitute on the right hand part we should substitute on, uh, substitute on the left hand side only okay next so here what is the smallest uh, uh, number smallest division here per smallest power n minus 2 this one is right so divides by 4 to the power of n minus 2 on both sides now on both sides okay so a naught so listen carefully everyone 4 to the power of n divided by 4 into n to the power of minus 2 minus 3 into a naught into n minus 1 and 4 to the power of n minus 1 divided by 4 to the power of n minus 2 and minus 4 into a naught into n minus 2 into 4 to the power of n minus 2 divided by 4 to the power of n minus 2 ok equal to 4 to the power of n by 4 to the power of n minus 2 now what will be the next a power m by a power n formula a power m minus n right a naught into n and 4 to the power of n here for this a naught into n say right here 4 to the power of n by 4 to the power of n minus 2 that means 4 to the n minus n plus 2 so n n cancel 4 square is there 4 square is nothing but what 16 right I first write 4 square and minus 3 into a naught into n minus 1 and here 4 to the power of n minus 1 is there n minus 2 is there so simply we got 4 only right into 4 this is the entire term and minus 4 into you can uh, cancel these terms so a naught into n minus 2 equal to 4 to the power of n by 4 to the n minus 2 so simply we get 4 square ok 4 square is equal to 16 here 16 a naught n minus a naught n and 3 a naught that means uh, and uh, 3 4s are 12 ok you see here 3 4s are 12 12 a naught 12 a naught n and here this is the minus value right so minus into minus plus and 4 3s are 12 12 1s are 12 right so plus 12 and minus so here in uh, other terms are not there so 4 a naught n minus 4 a naught n and minus into minus plus 4 2s are what 8 
and here a naught is there a naught here we got a naught right a naught equal to 16 okay check minus 12 a naught n this is n right minus 12 a naught n minus 4 a naught n what is that minus 16 a naught n okay so you can cancel these terms and finally what we have 12 a naught plus 8 a naught what do we have 12 a naught plus 8 a naught equal to 16 so the 12 plus 8 20 a naught equal to 16 and a naught equal to 16 by 20 so that for fourza for fiveza so 4 by 5 so what is the a naught value 4 by 5 so substitute a naught value in the particular equation so that a n to the power of p is equal to a naught value a naught into n to the power of 1 and 4 to the power of n okay so this is the solution for particular equation now we need to combine uh, homogeneous uh, solution and particular solution so that we will get non homogeneous recurrent solution so an is equal to as we know an to the power of h plus an to the power of p so what is the solution for an to the power of h that is a into r1 what is r1 value 4 right 4 to the power of n plus b into minus 1 to the power of n plus 4 by 5 into n into 4 to the power of n this is the solution for non homogeneous recurrence relation okay so hope you understand this concept this particular uh, problem okay here don't be confused ikkada 3a not n minus 1 undi so 4 to the power of n minus 1 by 4 to the power of n minus 2 so simply a power m by a power n formula chesthe meeku ikkada 4 ostundi so meer ikkada multiply chesina pudu 4 3 is 12 and 12 into that means what 12 into ए नाट एन मैनस वन उ सो इक ए नाट एन मैनस ए नाट सो ट्वेलव ए नाट एन प्लस ट्वेलव ए नाट वस्तु ओके सो लाइक दिस् यू हाव टू डू दीज टाइप आफ पैटर्न दीज टाइप आफ मॉडल ओके सो थैंक यू फर् वाचिंग प्लीज़ डू सब्सक्रैब अवर् चानल संकल स्टडी सक्सेस